What is this about? Who are you? Hi. I know who you are. Last chance! What are you going to do? Whatever I have to to get some answers. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! You'd like me to stop that, wouldn't you? Hmm? Get into you! Yeah. I know what to do with tough guys. What's up, guys? It's your boy Benny. Like all good stories, this one started off with a meme. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Why do Democrats hate being made fun of so much? Democrats like monopolies. They like monopolies on culture, on music, on acting, on Hollywood, on what is termed to be culture. And, and comedy is a huge part of culture. Democrats, however, are not allowed to have fun or to laugh at jokes, to do the things that we all find uh, give us joy in life, to ridicule each other and to talk shit. Democrats can't do this because they're too scared of offending each other. And so libs have seeded all of the ground on what is comedy, on what is funny. Donald Trump is implicitly funny. Donald Trump is hilarious on Saturday Night Live and has been a celebrity for a long time. Democrats hate the fact that Republicans have taken over what it means to have a laugh. You watch you watch an episode of Kill Tony or like go out, go, go watch an actual comedian. Like these comedians can't be left. I mean, Dave Chappelle has a really great bit on this. Like you cannot be a leftist comedian. It doesn't work. Woke comedy doesn't work. Memes are comedic. Democrats can't meme. The left can't meme. And so they, they, what they cannot control, they will seek to ban. This brings us along very nicely to Kamala Harris and impersonations of Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is somebody who certainly deserves uh, impersonation. She's somebody who deserves a lot of ridicule. She was the most despised vice president in American history until the propaganda machine was turned up to 12 and is melting down and breaking on her behalf. Kamala Harris deserves to be parodied. And that's why, uh, and I find this particularly funny, that like, a neurotic white girl it actually does the best Kamala Harris. Coffee's helping me stay woke. <laughs> you want a little bit of my waffle? I only like the center. I don't like the borders. I've been to the border. Okay, it's crunchy. Yeah, that's it. This, this, uh, th this, this comedian, this female comedian, is really good at doing an impersonation of Kamala Harris. Uh, Elon Musk shared a meme. That was also a impersonation or a parody of Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris campaign ad parody from this account, Mr. Reagan. The, uh, the video is hilarious, but what's more hilarious is the insane overreaction of leftists in, uh, effectively just trying to ban free speech entirely because they can't control memes like this. First off, let's watch the meme. Democrat candidate for president because Joe Biden finally exposed his senility at the debate. Thanks, Joe. I was selected because I am the ultimate diversity hire. I'm both a woman and a person of color. So if you criticize anything I say, you're both sexist and racist. I may not know the first thing about running the country, but remember, that's a good thing if you're a deep state puppet. I had four years under the tutelage of the ultimate deep state puppet, a wonderful mentor, Joe Biden. Joe taught me rule number one, carefully hide your total incompetence. I take in significant things and I discuss them as if they're significant. And I believe that exploring the significance of the insignificant is in itself significant. Talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time, and there is such great significance to the passage of time. Another trick is trying to sound black. I pretend to celebrate Kwanzaa, and in my speeches, I always do my best Barack Obama impression. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. And okay, look, maybe my work addressing the root causes of the border crisis were catastrophic, but my knowledge of international politics is truly shocking. The United States shares a very important relationship, which is an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. Okay, so you can see you can see where this goes. You've probably seen this because Elon Musk sharing it got hundreds of millions of views. And that can't be allowed. The humor cannot be allowed. We must control. 
remember, we need monopolies, monopolies on culture. We cannot have people laughing without it being approved comedy. This is the communists. Gavin Newsom, in response to this, said manipulating a voice in an ad like this should be illegal. I'll be signing a bill in a matter of weeks to make sure it is. Elon Musk retweets altered Kamala Harris campaign and altered ad. Altered. Now, this this correspondingly led to Elon Musk having the funniest series of subtweets in human history. I checked with renowned world authority professor Sug on D's nuts, and he said parody is legal in America. <laughs> It's an obvious parody, you jackass. Elon Musk descends, defends posing fake vice president ad. I mean, do they do they treat Saturday Night Live like this? When Alec Baldwin is is playing Donald Trump and running up the chimney, like do they do they treat Saturday Night Live like this? Parody is legal in America. Yes, it is, dumbass. This doesn't stop Gavin Newsom from doing this. I just signed a bill to make it illegal in the state of California. You can no longer knowingly distribute an ad or election communications that contain material decept materially deceptive content, including deep fakes. So bro, just like lit the U S constitution on fire, lit your first amendment on fire and said, you're the comedy is now illegal. Parody is now illegal. Governor of California just made a parody video illegal in violation of the U.S. Constitution. It would be a shame if this went viral again, says Elon Musk, 100,000 reposts. Oh, no, he's going to put you in meme prison. <laughs> At least my cellmates in meme prison will have a sense of humor. <laughs> oh, man. It's uh, so sad. Gavin Newsom, the Joker can't unsee it. It's true. He does very much look like a Batman villain. Elon Musk actually shared this. It's really good. Hard to be a free speech platform in a state that wants to ban free speech. People wonder why X moved out of California. That's exactly right. Like the time Streisand sued to make someone for revealing her obvious address in Malibu it really kept the lid on this LMAO. That's right. Newsom bans deep fakes. What does this mean? I mean, again, what, like, does this mean? Does this mean that the Kamala Harris? That this means that the Kamala Harris person is she now going to prison in California? Because that's not actually Kamala Harris, and she's knowingly distributing something that sounds like Kamala Harris. What a jackass! The Joker, the Joker is in charge, says Elon Musk. Memes are illegal, but illegals can vote. It doesn't make sense. That's right. That's such a great tweet. Governor of California signed a bill to make posting memes and parodies illegal, then goes against the Constitution and the First Amendment. What's happening in California will happen across all of America if Kamala wins. Free speech is at risk. This is such a great point, such a great reason to vote. You're not going to believe this, but Gavin Newsom just announced he signed a law to make parody illegal based on this video. <laughs> oh, man. What are you doing, man? I guess you're giving people a good insight into what your plans are for the entire country. The post says parody in all caps. So are you going to throw uh, Saturday Night Live in jail? There you go. This is such a great point. Police, he tweeted a parody video. <laughs> uh, the original video got, the original tweet got 137,000 likes. Yeah, so uh, it, it, it does... I, I do like moments like this because it actually shows you what we're, what we're fighting and what we'll lose if we allow these monsters to control the country. They are in they, they're people that do not value human life. They value only power. Uh, they are uh, soulless and lifeless and uh, humorless. And they want to criminalize laughing. We must defeat them. <laughs> it, we must defeat them as people use as, as as a channel that uses memes in literally everything we do. We must defeat them. Thank God we live in Florida. Whew, man, not going to California anytime soon. Knowingly distribute. Oh, yeah. OK. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share and subscribe for more memes and to piss off Gavin Newsom. See ya.